Mia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I will be showcasing the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder and also the Intense Instant Retouch Pro Filter Concealer. So I will be demonstrating these two products and telling you my thoughts on them. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. Is it recording? I hope it's recording. Hi. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Oh, and if you're wondering, I have my mirror right here so I can see my fuss. See my face. Because we're not doing no, no mirror makeup challenge today. Not today. I'm going to be going in also with my Tatcha Silk. My Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. You all know how the craters are if you have pores. You're going to do whatever it takes to fill them in. I'm going to be using my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill The Master Collection. You can find them on the Morphe website. All the brushes are here. You got your foundation brush. This is very similar to the M439. If you have that already, it's a great brush. Um, total, I think it's 24 brushes and the bundle was $165. So if you are interested, you can go on morphebrushes.com. So I'm going to take my foundation brush. It's very fluffy. And I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And if you are curious, I am in the shade 420. The primer retails for $32 and you can also get the mini size for $16. The foundation retails for, I believe, $34. So I'm just going to take my foundation brush, dab it on the back of my hand. I'm going to start to press this into the skin. Make sure I get it down the neck because we do not want that line of demarcation because no one can pull that off. Okay? Remember I said that. No one. No one. No one. Oh, I have my viewfinder over on the left side of me so if you see me looking that way i'm just looking at myself making sure i'm not making a fool of myself you know um and i'm still in focus and i have my mirror on this side so this is the foundation that i use when i just want something light not too full coverage but just enough to cover a lot of my dark spots because that is a big insecurity of mine we're going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty instant retouch concealer now just like the foundation this also comes in 50 shades They make it very easy for you to find your shade because I am in the shade 420 but when I go to look for my found my concealer shade the shade 420 is going to be the one that I would go for because it's just a little bit lighter. It's supposed to complement your foundation shade, not necessarily match it. Because I like a very highlighted under eye, I'm going for the shade 390. It's a lot more golden than my foundation shade. So this is the shade 390 in the concealer and this is the foundation in 420. A little goes a long way with this concealer. It's very comparable to the NARS Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's very creamy and it's very full coverage. So even though I have a medium coverage of the foundation on, once I put on the concealer, it's going to um, cover up a lot of the extra dark spots that I have depending on where I put the concealer. 
and swipe. So my camera just cut off. Because I want a little bit more coverage, I'm just going to go in with another layer. Concealer is very creamy, so it's going to take a little bit longer for it to dry down. Put some in my T-zone, down the bridge of the nose, the chin. Keep it bow because I like a really highlighted T-zone area. I'm going to take my booty bender and blend that out. I have a lot of stuff to cover up. You know, dark spots, scarring, bad decisions, McDonald's dollar menu. The one thing we'll never cover up is Chick-fil-A. Nope. That stays right here in the heart. One thing that I have to do, I get, I have a lot of... Look at it. Look at it. You see that? You see that? You see... Yeah. My foundation tends to separate around these areas right here. To prevent that, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep and go into my smile lines and all the creases and crevices of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm running out. Like, I don't know if you can see. Like, I'm like down here. So, time to take a trip to Ulta. Get a new one. You know, gotta read up on the good stuff. Blending is key, you guys. We are going to go in with the Fenty Beauty. If you can see, oh, reflection! Hey, camera. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder, and I have mine in the shade Honey. If you are around my complexion, 420 in foundation, I'm 390 in concealer, and I for my under eye and T zone, I have the shade Honey. It does retail for either 32 or 34 dollars i believe and the concealer retails for 26 dollars and it also comes in with a little stopper so when you get the box make sure you look at the top there's a little um area where they have the topper that way you can control the powder when like if you're traveling or when you're putting it um, storing it back up into your collection that way the, when you open it again the powder isn't spewing all over now I have tried this concealer and found this concealer and powder two times before and I've learned something very important sure that you smooth them out I make a lot of facial expressions <laughs> if you know me if you know me I am a character so I make a lot of expressions with my foss I have a lot of space for things to get into because it does say it's crease proof but if you have natural lines like under eye lines it is going to settle because of your natural creases after you blend it out just make sure right before you go in with your powder just to blend that out and a little bit of this powder goes a long way people It does give you that filtered look, by the way, and it does have a slight scent, like a vanilla cupcake-y scent to it, but it's, it's, it's very, very faint. If, it was a if they added a little bit more, it might be too strong, but it's, it's very faint. And go in with... Tap out the excess and go in with the powder. I'm heavy handed with powder because I have oily skin. So I don't want anything seeping or dripping or leaking through. I don't I don't I don't want it. I don't want it. So <laughs> just in certain areas. So I set all over my face using the Laura Mercier translucent powder in deep with the JH01 brush and just went all over with this big fluffy brush and it's very soft so if you like soft brushes that is not that are not expensive but very good quality get these brushes now I'm going to go in with my favorite brow pencil this is the ColourPop precision brow pencil in the shade black and brown
Well, this is as good as my brows are going to get today. We're going to set the brows using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I'm going in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I'm going to be taking this darkest shade right here. As you can see, I hit pen and mine is... Mm -hmm. using the JH05 and this is a very unique brush because it's not too tapered on the side and it also has a round top which can get into the contour lines very easily and I'm just going to start from the tip of my ear and go down this way very lightly And then when I don't have much product left on my brush, then I'm going to blend it backwards. So you always want to want blend backwards when it comes to your contour. That way it blends up into your hairline and then it brings the jawline up this way. Instead of brushing it down, it's going to bring your face forward when you want everything to be pulled back. And now we're going to the side of my hairline up by the temple take away some of those mcdonald's bad decisions even though oh i could really use some chicken nuggets but anyways um <laughs> i'm gonna stamp that to my jawline and the side of my face contour not contour can you see it And then once we have the pigment dispersed, we're going to be brushing it backwards up towards the ear. So I'm not going this way. I'm going to be brushing backwards. So I'm going to be using the Becca bronzer in the shade Maui Nights. And it's a very red tone, so it's really going to warm up the skin. So I'm going to be using the jh02 and this is a fluffy bronzer brush i have another one just like this the morphe m527 which they are very similar but this one is just a little bit more dense for the eyes i'm only going in with one eyeshadow just one and that is 24 hour infallible eyeshadow in the shade bottomless java and it's so pretty all over the lid I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just going to press that onto the eye just stamp it straight onto the lid other side This is the JH30 and I'm just going to, it's a clean brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges. And sometimes I would add the Becca bronzer in the crease as well if I want to warm up my crease a little bit but most days I just use this and blend it out. So as you can see this one's blended, this one not blended. blended not blended. So now I'm going to blend out this side. I'm taking my definer pencil in the shade JH. This is the JH43. It's just a flat definer. And I just want to stamp that on my lower lash line. I'm going to take the JH37 and this is a very nice blending brush. As you can see, it's not too tapered on this. It's not tapered on the side, but it does have that rounded, that rounded top, which is good for blending out eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take the brush, and just like how we blended out the top, I'm just going to blend out the lower lash line. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Exit. So this is just a white 
liner. Now adding a white liner or a cream gel liner is really going to open up the eyes. If you have really squinted eyes, adding a very light white or off-white or cream liner into your lower lash line is really going to open up the eyes. For mascara, I'm going to be going in with the NARS Climax Mascara. This is just the mini size and the larger tube is about $26, I believe. I'll link everything in the description box below of all the products that I used today. Apply this mascara to my top lashes. But look at that. I'm also going to be adding the same mascara to my lower lash line as well. Now you can see the difference. Mascara, no mascara semi potential Instagram baddie one day and McDonald's groupie on the other side can you see it give a like if you can see it if you can see the difference between semi one day Instagram baddie potential and McDonald's groupie on the other side give me a like like this video if you can see the difference guys I'm going to be using the kiss lashes these are the ones that taper out to the side it gives you like a little wing like doo -doo, like a wing okay so lashes are on see they're not too much but they're just natural enough for every day for blush i'm going to go in with the ColourPop x bretman rock blush in the shade stop it stop it stop it stop it stop it yeah just stop just just stop just stop stop it just stop it you applying the blush using the jh04 this is very similar to the morphe e4 the e4 in their elite collection and is also very soft just like all the other brushes i'm gonna dab straight into the blush I don't want to pick up too much product, dab off some of the excess, and then apply it to the cheeks just to get a light wash of color. I like orangey blushes, especially like on a natural day because they look so good on darker skin. So whenever you're applying any cheek products, you want to work backwards and not forwards because it's going to really sculpt the face and pull everything up. It's going to take off some chicken nuggets. Some bad decisions. No one ain't gonna know you went to McDonald's for that 10 piece girl or boy. This would be more like a five piece. Yeah, more like a five piece, not a 10 piece, like five. Five with no fries and then water. No combo. No. We got these happy meals. Happy meal. I'm going to be using the MAC lip pencil in the shade Chestnut. I'm just gonna line. The lips and what you can do is just take your finger and really like blend it out that way you don't have that harsh lip line so I'm going to be using the ColourPop cream luxe lipstick in the shade Appy this is my favorite 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 nude lipstick ever in life it don't matter it's very peachy. It's like a peachy pink type of nude, but it's not going to look very ashy or casket ready on me. So that's why I love it. It's the perfect pinky peachy nude for dark skin. That's how I would explain it. I want to add a little warmth to the crease, so I'm just going to add some of the bronzer. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So now we are going to set and I'm going to be using the All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. For highlights, I'm going to be using the Desi X Katie Chasing the Sun Highlighter. 
and this is what it looks like there is also a great dupe by morphe and this is the high high impact highlighter illuminator in the shade mirage and i'll swatch it for you here it's not as blinding as the desi x katie highlighter and it does have a little bit more like mauve pinkish undertone but that highlighter goes for about $14 so it's a great dupe. Stamp it right above the cheek area. It's right there and I like to make that C. And I'm just going to dab a little on the nose the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow, and we're just going to blend that out, center of the face. And even though you have oily skin, don't be afraid to highlight. Just highlight certain areas. I'm going to be taking the JH42. This is a tiny definer brush. It's really good for inner corner highlight and also the brow bones. I'm going to take a little bit of this and just hit the high point of the brow and then blend it downward. And I did add the highlighter to my inner corners but this is it you guys. I'm going to leave my all my socials in the description box down below so you can go ahead and follow me on those i hope you enjoyed this video i know i've been gone a long time now that i'm back i'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently um click on the bell notification so you can be notified whenever i upload but of course you have to subscribe so let me know um, in the comments down below what you would like to see and keep coming back for more content and I love you guys and hope to see you guys right back here very soon. Bye! What you think? First we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Focus. Focus!